Right, Quinn Simmons, top 10 world champs. One of the most crazy files I've seen in a while, so it's time to make a video. So, world champs, 277k, 4,500 meters, 6 hours, 40 straight away, average power, 300 watts, 7,000 kilojoules. Now, that is a lot. Now, the reason Quinn Simmons is interesting as well is because he actually followed Pagacha. Him and Baggioli were the only one who tried to follow Pagacha when he attacked, so you get to see how, how many watts Pagacha is doing uh, ish. Uh, on the front weight wise mm, it's always hard to tell it bumps between 72 and 78 i'm gonna put like 76 so i think that's actually what he is but no one really knows anyway the watts are big that's all we need to say so we kind of just do the standard uh look through so normalized 370 um which is pretty big but uh for seven close to seven hours but you know it is it's quite standard what they do anyway so the start was actually not that easy. You can see 330 normalized, like on the flat here. It's, it's not like, okay, it's not difficult for sure, but it's not like, whoa, this is super easy. First climb, again, you can see 400 watts uh, for 10 minutes. Very, very quick climb, 31 kilometers an hour. But like there were big attacks. France was doing stuff. You can see the top three minutes, he's doing like 430 watts. Uh, and then again, this kind of rolling towards the valley. This is actually like, I guess, probably the easiest part. Um, really uh not too difficult they got the climb again there's like it's pretty hard to begin with this is a sorry this uh, this climb was actually where massive moves are going you can see 6.8 watts per kilo um 515 watts so that was actually again like quite hard then the only really easy part sorry the whole race was was this part here where they rode towards the fin the circuits 220 normalized so that's actually like full it'll relax that's like so so easy um and then, like, the first time up the climb, again, pretty easy, like, four watts per kilo, so nothing crazy. Um, and then we just start the laps, and, like, it's not maybe the hardest circuit you've ever seen, but it's just kind of consistent. Like, you can see here, it's, like, every time they got the little, there's, like, the kicker at the bottom, and then the long climb, and then it, I think this is actually quite interesting to see at the profile. You don't necessarily see it the same, uh, but we'll, we'll look at some some peak power. So straight away we'll kind of look at the five minutes 5 13 now this is four laps to go this is when Pagacha went so Quinn Simmons we actually didn't they didn't show this on tv he attacked early he was with some French guys he was kind of like riding hard here again kind of attacked to the wrong place like a lot of people were attacking the bottom of the climb which I don't really understand uh but anyway they did and then this is the big launch to get under Poggy's wheel so you can see like it's a pretty hard point anyway five minutes 6.8 it could be closer to seven if he's a bit lighter but you know, like 513 watts and 5% is going to go quick. But he did a massive surge to get into Pagaccio. And you can see, like, that power is just him getting more and more cracked. So you can see, like, this bit here was him following Pagaccio. He's doing, like, uh, 7.4 watts per kilo, 2 minutes, 561 watts. But obviously, like, he was already ahead. So when Pagaccio came across, he kind of missed that first part of the acceleration. But, like, sitting in the wheel, uh, he's probably kind of doing, like, 600 watts-ish. This bit, I think he'd cracked, maybe, um... I was thinking maybe he's lighter because the numbers, what's per kilo is not 100% adding up. But you can see, like, they're massive, massive attacks. So this bit here, Zurich all the way up, was was almost the, the was the second fastest time they went up. But he did 5.4, like, 481 normalized. Like, obviously, it's all just crazy numbers. 10 minutes, 450, again, it's interesting. It was, like, the the bottom steep part of the climb. Uh, he did 582 watts for a minute and a half, which is quite a lot, actually. Um, so all in all pretty impressive stuff but i think what's what's crazy obviously is that at this point like he's already four thousand kilojoules in like yeah he's a big boy so that's not that crazy it's like 50 well it's quite a lot crazy like 50 kilojoules per kilogram but it's still like pretty big but obviously it's just like the the repetitive power like even here he's still doing like 390 watts for 16 17 minutes and it's like obviously got downhills and all the rest of it so i think that's kind of the crazy thing is that even as everyone knows at the end of a race they're still doing big big power so if we look at like peak two minutes, uh, the 600 watts, that actually comes one of the earlier times up the short climb. So you can see like the, the peak power doesn't always all come together. Like the two minutes is really hard there, but also the subsequent lap, it was really hard when he was following Pagacha. If we're going to the normalize, it's probably going to blow your mind. 20 minutes, 470, <laughs> which is pretty mental. So you actually average 400 watts uh, when Pagacha went for 20 minutes, like mid race, uh, which, you know, maybe is not too crazy. But when you look at the file, it's like, it's not really a 20 minute climb. It's like a bit of false flat. Half an hour, 446. That's pretty big. An hour, 435. That is a lot. And then three hours, 403, which is the last three hours is like, that's the bit I reckon where it just fully blows your mind. Because like, 
you just can't really comprehend that they're doing seven hours almost race and uh yeah the last three hours he's cracking up 400 normalized and like even the average is four and a half watts per kilo which is impressive and i think that's the other thing it's like the average for the whole day is four watts per kilo for six and a half hours and like yeah okay that's not necessarily crazy if you're a real like climber but like for a big boy 300 normalized for six and a half hours that is a lot that is a serious amount so i think it just goes to show like Obviously, he's really strong in the first hour, but it's just, like, the ability to do at the end of the race, especially with so many spikes, like, if we go look at this, the 25-watt zone distribution, which I always think is interesting, obviously, he spent an hour not pedaling, but if you kind of look down here, like, he did spend a significant proportion of time, like, just in these watts, like, if you look at 600 to 624, five minutes, 625 to 650, four minutes, and I know it's a long race, but you've got to think, like, he's spending significant portions of time. Like, between 700 and 800 watts, he's spending, like, three, four minutes, maybe more, five minutes, which is a lot. Uh, and that's kind of the thing. Like, the zone distribution here is probably going to be a bit wrong, but you can still see, like, in such a long race, he's still spending uh, close to an hour over zone six, 500 watts. And that's kind of the big thing is, like, it's not just this kind of cruising along and then you do it once and that's it. It's, like, consistent attacks on, like, the whole time for the last three, four hours, which makes it so impressive because I think it's easy to think like, yeah, when you race, you get tired after an hour or two, but like they just don't really get that tired for a very long time. I mean, if we think it's threshold, he's probably doing more than 440 for 20 minutes, probably doing like 460, 470. So it's probably not exactly right, but still like that's an hour and 40 minutes of zone five above. So the whole thing is just crazy. And I think that's tough to kind of get your head around uh, just in general, um, like how crazy the file is uh i don't think i've really seen i mean roubaix is similar to be honest roubaix is normally high average similar normalized for for a similar amount of time but yeah it's it's just really big numbers and that's what it needs to do top 10 in the world on a course that probably doesn't assume that well it's a bit, a bit climbing but goes to show that man's got big gas and like again five minutes 513 mid race 10 minutes 450 i mean they're all just they are just big numbers but anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one